Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today we have a very special unboxing, something that came in from somebody I might have traded with. I believe this is what it is. Pretty excited about this. I'm trying to be cool and calm and collective, but here we go. All right, today I'm opening up with my custom Trevor Burger Darkour. This is the regular size one, not the mini. Love this blade. Has a beautiful carbon fiber, I think it's fat carbon fiber twill inlay just beautifully done gorgeous gorgeous milling it's such a smooth knife all right so let's get into this one See what do we have here? There's some padding and stuff, which is cool. We'll save that. All right, so here we go. What do we have here? What could this be? Is this what I think it is? Holt Blade Works. Look at that. All right, here we go. We got the certificate of authenticity. I think, oh, this is the tool to tune the detent. That's very cool. Nice little itty bitty. Looks like a little Allen wrench, very small one. This is the haptic 1245. So there we go. Holt Blade Works, an NFC little card here. Very cool. And here we are. Look at this. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna move this off to the side. It's a really cool box, very cool presentation, but uh, here we are, all right. So, a little dust and travel from the case, but that's fine, we'll just knock that all off. All right, so beautiful blue anodization, it's almost like a purple, not quite, but still has that beautiful anodization on there. Love the pivot. Um, I don't think, I don't know if it's a captive or not. Uh, this is M390. Blade steel right there. The flipper got the little um, little cutout area for your hand. Beautifully centered. Look at that dead center. And look at that milling on here. We should before we even get into it. Let's go ahead and do a little zoom. Let's look at that milling. Look at the milling on the clip itself. The screws. I believe these are all T8s. That might be a T10. I'll have to double check that. Milling on this side. Look at that beautiful backspacer. Is it an off backspacer? Yeah, it is a full off backspacer. Very, very cool there. Very, very nice. All right. And let's look at that. You can see how close of the centering. And there's that blade. And there's a clip. The other side. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. So, notice immediately chamfered all the way around. Beautiful aesthetics. Even the corner here is not sharp. The clip itself is nice and rounded. A functional clip that you can use. Very cool aesthetic there. All right, so let's give it the flip. Here we go, ready? Oh, look at that. Beautiful, this is the haptic. So there's that blade. All right, so let's see how it drops. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Sweet, that is nice. Oh my goodness, wow. All right, so a little thing what it reminds me of, but not quite. It has a very unique sound. That's a little bit like the Herman Sing, but what I like, it has that detent nub, kind of like Brian Nadeau and some other people have used, which I like. The action is beautifully buttery smooth. Phenomenal. No blade play. No pivot play. Let's listen to that uh, detent going in here. Ready? Nice little click. Any detent lash? No. Perfect. Nice and centered all the way across in the back. Beautiful. Wow. That is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, we will get a little cloth here, though. I might just do a drop of well. Looks like there's a little stuff on the bottom, but it's okay. Not a big deal. We'll just uh, 
a little drop there just to get some of that off. Sometimes oil is the best cleaner for stuff like that. There we go. Yeah. Most likely, you know, this is the bottom part where I was laying down or something like that. But that's typical, right? You know, you use a knife, that's what happens. You get dust on it. Even if it sits there, sometimes they're going to get dust on them. So let's clean that blade off so you can take a nice, beautiful. So this looks like it's that stone wash with that semi-polished stone wash kind of blade that they do. You can see that it's almost fully reflective, but not quite, but it has that beautiful stone wash on there. So you can see that, I love that. Beautiful swedge on top, great jimping. Got a nice presentation. I've got large hands, so we're right at the limit there. Could you choke up? You could a little bit. It's not quite a full choke up, but yeah, you can definitely get there. This is right at the limit of my hand, but it de definitely works. Uh, there you go, look at that action, it's ridiculous. That's so nice. Yeah, this would be a fun blade to carry. Look at that. Super, super nice. Love that. Now, I don't know if um, the, you know, Holt Blade works if they do any any sort of uh, oil on the on the bearings. I'm assuming it is bearings when you look inside. So I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Can you see that nub in there? There's that little detent nub right there. And then you can see the, looks like a, Steel bar insert? Is that a full steel bar insert? Or, oh, that's probably the how you tune the detent, huh? Okay, very cool. Yeah, some cool screws. Hidden screw back here as well. I like that. Oh, listen to that. Let me just listen to that. Just a beautiful action on that thing. I think that's gorgeous. So, got a little stuff on there. Yeah, I'll wipe that off. Oh, just a little dust on there. Oil is the best thing because that's the stuff I would put on the blade as well, right? I mean, it's M390 blade steel, so it's great steel. But there we go. There we go. So here we go. Look at that. That action is simply ridiculous. Look at that. Sound is nice. It's a different sound. I mean, it almost reminds me. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna zoomed in. I'm getting all lost there. It almost reminds me of. Yeah, let me get it closer. So you can hear it. Reminds me of a Herman, but not. The Herman. It feels like the the liner lock is a little. It's a little more spongy, if you will. I mean, it has a very unique sing. It's, it's really strong, but it feels very flexible, right? It feels like it's meant to flex. This feels more like a traditional liner lock, but still has that beautiful uh, acoustics to it. I love that action, that close. It is definitely what I would consider guillotine close, right? It's not, it's not quite controlled. It's a drop shut, right? It's not loose because there's no blade play. Yeah, that's really cool. All right, so let's take a look at that. That beautiful handle on that thing. Yeah, this is one of my grails of 2024. This was made possible with a awesome trade. Uh, one of the knives that's leaving my collection. I'm sad to go see it go, but it's okay. It's okay. I honestly, <laughs> you know, I would be happy with that one or this one. Um, because, but I'm more happy with this one, obviously. And that's why I did the trade because I've always wanted a whole blade works. When I went to Blade Show Texas, I had a chance to handle one of these. I was like, yeah, yeah, this is this is good. This is amazingly good. This is so nice in the hand. So, fits really well. Beautiful curve, notice that right there. And this is really important to me. That aesthetic, you don't want it to be sharp and tight. You want it to fit in there and feel comfortable, like it's solid in there, right? I can grip it, there's no sh sharp areas. Look, it's even chamfered on the corners there, which is really nice and beautifully rounded all the way around there. Uh, I think that's stinking cool. And where's the, where's the, when, when do you clear the detent? Let's feel that. Okay, so it's a ramp for sure because you clear that ramp really fast. Yeah, you do. Wow. 
That's stinking cool. Okay. So there's once you get past that ramp, you're you're past. Look at that. You know, if you're going to be a flipper only, you better do the flipper well. You better do it well. And this one does it well. I know some of you guys love Herman's, and I love the Herman too. I think it's, it's a fantastic knife. I was very excited to have a chance to experience it. I never carried it. I never carried it. And I don't know why. I don't, I don't know if it was just ergonomics, whatever. <clears throat> I loved it in hand like this, but when you closed it, it did was a little sharp on the edge, at least for my big meaty hands, right? And this one is just a little more comfortable. When I do this, it's comfortable like that. The Herman had a little kind of a sharp edge there, and it was okay. It was perfect carrying. I mean, it was really the, the, the fit and everything was fantastic. Like this one right here. This right here goes right inside the little palm of my hand like that. So it feels nice and tight and beautiful jimping with a nice wedge up there and a nice robust tip. Look at that. Nice robust. Let's feel that edge. And let's look at that edge too. Is it pretty even on both sides? Yeah. It is, I think. Might be a little shorter on one side there. But you know what? We'll be stropping that puppy up. I have my zebra wood strop here with horse hide. I mean, if you're going to strop a knife, especially if you hold haptic, this is the strap, the strop, sorry, the strop that you want. So let's see what that angle is. Are we at about 20, 25 degrees? Is that what we're looking at? I'm trying to see where the polishing compound connects. Let's see. So I'm going to guess that's about 22, maybe 23 degrees. At least on this one. It might be 20, but it's it's not it's not a long angle on the blade. It is relatively thin and comes full flat grind just about. I mean, not quite full flat because you can see that right there. But it's pretty thin, comes to a nice slicey edge for sure. Yeah, it feels like it's going to be around, I'm going to guess around 20 degrees, maybe 21 degrees. I don't know. Short of having something to measure with, that's what it feels like. Yeah, that's nice and sharp. It's getting there. I like to go from razor sharp to crazy sharp. That is what I enjoy. I like to be able to whittle a hair or let the hair fall on the blade and kind of just fall to each of the sides as it falls apart. That to me is a nice sharp edge, right? I'm going to be able to run it down my arm here and be able to get the hair right off. See, it's not quite there yet, so it needs to... It's sharp, but it's not crazy sharp. A lot of people, that would be more than fine, but I like it a little sharper. So, you know, we'll work on it. And being it's a good heat treat, it's going to take a while. When you have a good heat treat, it will take a while for that blade and that edge to get a nice sharp sharpness to it, right? So we gotta got to work that in. That's stinking cool. All right, there we go. Look at that. That is just pretty amazing. All right, so I'm going to move that off to the side here. I'll move it over here where it was. Okay. Yeah, it does polish up nicely, too. That's stinking cool. Look at that. <laughs> That's just stinking cool. Oh, yeah. I already reserved a spot in my case. Now, these are two really fantastic grail knives right here, right? We're dealing with two different type of designs. One's a Trevor Burger Custom, right? Beautiful decor. This knife I love. And then the other one is a Holt, Holt Haptic. Beautiful. Love this blade shape. So, fantastic. Simply fantastic. Wow. 
And the jimping on there, on this right here, is just perfectly adequate. And it's not sticking out where it's uncomfortable. I can get my finger on there, have enough adequate jimping. It doesn't really flip off because there's good in there, but it doesn't hook up too much where it's uncomfortable. And the fit and finish on here is ridiculously flawless. It's just wonderful. Joe does such a great job. Angie and, and Joe um, at Holt Blade Works. So got a chance to speak to Joe at Blade Show Texas. Really wanted to get one of his knives when I was there. I didn't know he had some that I could actually buy. I was blown away. Got a chance to you know, grab a Morpheus. I think it was a Morpheus or it was a Haptic. I can't remember what he had, but it was nice. And when I handled it, you know, one of the things I think I said in one of our live streams and maybe I said when I was talking about Blade Show Texas was is that, yeah, definitely want this knife. It is that good. Oh, man, that action is just ridiculous. Now, for some of you guys, you may not like that drop shot action. You might tighten it up a little bit. And, no, you certainly can. I like it like that. Now, you can take this apart, and there's a screwdriver like, a, like you see right here. You can actually... Uh, you, uh, where is it? Right here. You can. Now, this screwdriver didn't come with it, but this, this uh, wrench. But this is what tunes it right here, this little, little thing right here. And I'm not exactly sure. I'm, I'm sure there's a video on there somewhere on how to do that. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure how that works. I assume I have to take the scales off. But either way, if you want it just to be a little crisper, you absolutely can. You know, that's, that's very much the possibility, something you can do with the knife. So the gentleman who did the trade with me, I think he has two other Holt Blade Works, uh, two or three. So, yeah, it's not like I traded his one and only grail knife. No. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, I will be more than happy and content with one. And this is a blue that I really dig, by the way. It's a very interesting blue, right? It's not your traditional very bright blue that kind of in your face. It's almost like a dark gray blue, but you almost have that hint of purple in there. You can almost see some tints of, of purple as you angle it. So it's not quite a purple, but it feels like it. It's very, very subdued, but very artistic, but very, I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's me. You know, if you're going to do blue, this is the blue I can really dig. I can really dig that. So I think that's stinking cool. All right, so I am uh, blown away, 2023 and 2024, for the knives I've got a chance to experience. I've experienced a Herman Sting. Uh, I've experienced many areas. Uh, um, um, Custom Knife Works, um, Evo 3.0, uh, an uh, Oz Machine Rosie, um, a, custom, a couple of Trevor Burger, custom Trevor Burgers, a... Uh, Rick Hinder XM18 non flipper, an Olamic custom whippersnapper, uh, a whole bunch of paramilitaries, a TRM um, Shadow and Titanium, a TRM Atom that I've had for a while, but still one of, one of my favorite knives. Um, yeah, and a, and a whole bunch of more knives. Just really, really amazing. An Arnold Bernard, but I've had that for a few years. So some of those knives have been in my collection for a few years. But, ah, oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. All right, so let's go ahead and do the, the regular zoom. We'll do that again. So here's the, the clip, and the milling pattern is just ridiculous. Simply, astonishingly ridiculous. Here's the blade. Beautiful. And it's very polished. I don't, you, you can sort of see the camera reflection up there. So it's, it's stonewashed, but polished. I think that's stinking cool. Here's the blade right there. Nice wedge. And here's a presentation side. So you only got two screws and one there. On this side, you have two screws. The clip is inside, which I think is cool. And then this is an uh, inset liner lock, right? So it, the liner lock is set into the scale. So it's inset. You can see that it goes inside, which I think is really cool. So there you go. Really, really sweet. I wonder if this is like a Brian Nadeau custom USA made knife. It feels like this. Really, really stinking cool. Yeah, look at that. That is nice. I'm loving that. That's that's just this. Yeah. Wow. So, very, very cool. Very cool. I love. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. 
So there's this little milling pattern and it matches here and then you got this milling pattern here. Then you have this coming together beautifully. I think that's just really amazing. And under here, it's nice and rounded. It's got to have a ramp, but it's not <clears throat> like a real high ramp where it's going to get stuck in your pocket. And then the tolerances here are just ridiculous. And the blade to handle ratio utilization is ridiculous. Okay. I can't really get, I can't really feel that edge. May, okay. So I noticed the very tip is not super pokey out. It's kind of almost rounded, like intentionally. And I see that. It's probably just so you don't get caught there. So this is definitely, uh, uh, you know, some people call this a sheep's foot, but it's probably more a worn cliff, right? But because it's rounded, is that a sheep's foot? Usually the, boat, the belly or whatever. So I'm torn. Call it a modified reverse tanto sheep's foot, whatever you want to call it. I think it's stinking cool. It is stinking cool. So, yeah. Wow. Okay. All right, so enough oogling over the knife. We'll, we'll absolutely do a review and impressions on this knife. I am looking forward to that a lot. So we will have that coming. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. Very, very nice little knife. All right. The Holt Haptic M390 blade steel. Beautiful blue anodization. I want to say it's not purple, but it's, it's beautiful blue. I love this. Ooh. Man, I did it again. Sorry, guys. I get so caught up in the knife, I forget that I'm zoomed in. It's really hard because this knife is just, it's mesmerizing, okay? It mesmerizes me, so I, I apologize for that. But, uh, yeah. Now, I'm cleaning it off only because, you know, for you guys, so you guys can see it. You don't want to see fingerprints and stuff on here, so. But when, if I use it, you know, the stuff happens. It gets dirty, and it, that will happen to the knife. Now I got a little glue or something on there. I don't know if it was on the cloth that I was using already. So there we go. But very cool. Just one more time. Look at that action. One more time. And then that flipping. Ready? Beautiful acoustic. Yeah, it's not as spongy as a Herman Sting. That's for sure. I like that a lot. Very cool. All right. So that right there is... Is the Holt Haptic. A very, very fun blade. Very exciting blade to have in the collection. Definitely going to be one of those special knives in the collection. Up there with the Rosie and the Trevor Burgers and Olamic Custom, you know, that type of knife. It's definitely going to be one of those special ones. Now, will it be a hard user like, you know, like my McNeese Mac 2 or some of my Spider Co's? No. But I will definitely carry it, and I'll definitely open boxes with it. I will have no problem doing that, just so you know. So, very cool. That is the knife. All right, hey, if you, I appreciate you guys watching so far, and appreciate you guys being part of the channel. Man, if you found this content fun, interesting, or worthwhile, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? If you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel. Allows the channel grow, produce more content, allows me to do more things, ultimately do more things for you guys. So, thank you. Thank you to all of you awesome, amazing people out there, especially those of you who, who watch, who like, and who subscribe to the videos. Man, I appreciate you. More than you know. And then to my channel members, thank you. I mean it. Just really, genuinely, thank you. You guys are amazing. You guys, Some of you guys have been here since the very beginning. I know who you are, and I am so grateful for you guys. Thank you. I do, do sincerely appreciate you. Um, if you've been on the fence and you thought, hey, I'd like to become a channel member, you can. Just check out the description down below. There, there's a link, and I have three different tiers. Uh, you know, bottom tier, middle tier, top tier. It's all up to you how you want to become a channel member. I would love to have you. I don't want anybody ever to feel pressured to do it, but I would be honored and love to have you. It, I really mean that. You guys help a long way with a lot of the shipping that comes involved and some of the some of the things that you have to do to review, the loaner knives, the pass arounds, the giveaways especially, <clears throat> and then the shipping for the giveaways. Those are big things. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And also, just my way to say thank you, I do a once a month giveaway for channel members. Make sure it's something nice and special. Uh, that's not trying to lure you in. I mean, it may lure you in, but it, you know, it's not a bad thing, you know, if that's why you're becoming a member, and I appreciate it, but definitely a worthwhile thing to win. But uh, most of all, it's just my way to say thank you. And, and if you did become just a member recently, or if you've been a member for a while and you haven't asked, email me. 
with your name and address, I'll mail you out a sticker. I want to at least get a sticker out to everyone, every new channel member or channel member who hasn't had one, right? Um, if you become a uh, Uber nerd, um, that's a spe you get a special sticker for that one. We did get another Uber nerd this last live stream, so I had the opportunity and the honor to send that sticker out. That was a lot of fun, and just appreciate you guys. So thank you. Also, if you haven't already done so, check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week. Bye.